Hi, this is Nitya, Assistant Professor of English, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women, Feminist Writing, Unit 1. Feminism is a study defining, establishing and defending the equal civil social rights for women. Its main aim to seek gender identity, equality and female issues. It began during 15th century. Christine D. Besant's The Book of City of Ladies brought the importance of women in the society. Feminist women has four waves of feminism. First wave 1842 to 1920. It began it seeks the equality in politics, education and right to the property and marital freedoms. Second wave 1963 to 1980 brought social and cultural inequalities and racism concept later. 1990s third wave of feminism began. It, it, it seeks financial, political and social inequalities of women. Fourth wave till the present day, it seeks the enhancement of women in the society. Viraho Press played the very important role to publish the women, uh, women's writings during 19th and 20th century. Dale Spinter and Jane Spencer's writings brought, brought the concept of even women can write. Woolstone Traps, a vindication of the rights of the women, brought the, seeks the feminist philosophy concept. Virginia Woolf's A Room of One's Own brought the social injustice and lack of freeness in the lack, lack of freeness for women in the society. Jane Austen, Alice Walker, Judith Wright, Simon G. Beaver, Kate Miller, Anita Desai, Margaret Atwood Ma Angelou. These, these, these are all the popular feminist writers all over the world. Women to Man by Judith Wright, an Australian poet, environmentalist, unique in modern idiom and in her writing has native touch and materialism concepts. It is, a, it is in the form of a ballad. The concept is creation of life and how it's that love it developed till the end between husband and wife with the newborn child. The setting of the poem is Night to Dawn. So with the four stanzas, the writer discuss how uh, how a baby formed and how it was created and the pregnant lady considered that baby is a third person in the family and how it going to be a, a, a colorful future to the husband and wife. This is the concept of this poem. Phenomenal Woman by Maya Angelou who is an American and multi-talented writer and unique in autobiographical writing style. In this poem, she celebrated the identity of women. Even though she is a black raced woman who lived in America, she won't bother for her gigantic physique even in her black waist. Always she called herself as a phenomenal, extraordinary woman. And why she is calling herself like that means she accepts what God gives to her and she loves her inner beauty. And she's and she's telling she loves she loves herself and she's telling that I am a woman and, and proud to she's telling that being as a woman. Next poem, I am not that woman by Kishwar Nogit. She is a Urdu poet, Indo-Pakistani writer. The concept of the poem is women empowerment and she's telling that women seeks, women deserves the self-respect. With a mocking tone, she is satirizing the male chauvinist, chauvinistic society. Men considered women as a commodity and they forced women to do all the customs and traditions. She opposes that concept, women they have to come out from that borderline and they can be free from it. So with the optimistic note, she wind up the poem. Uh, I am not that woman. Next poem, originally by Carol Ann Jeffrey. She is a Scottish poet and poet and playwright. She considers the first Scottish born female poetess. In this poem, she discusses the loss of cultural identity, identity because it is a, it is a personal uh, touch of poem because she is immigrating from Scotland and uh, settled down in England. So there how she alienated, what are all the problems she faced. So that concept she discussed in this poem originally. With the hesitating note, she wind up the poem. Now where do you come from? Uh, strangers ask originally and I hesitate. So if, if the, the land is not for us, so usually people ask us, you are considered as we are a strangers. Next poem, poem name is Poem by Pratipa Nanda Kumar who is a contemporary Karnataka Indian writer. 
the poem it is originally written in kannada and translated into english by ak ramanujan in this poem she discuss how a female poetess struggle to create a remarkable poetry being as a female writer it is not a easy task to write a remarkable poem so half the pratipa she suffered to write a beautiful poem to present in a poetry festival so this is the concept she discussed in this poem poem that's all thank you